Well, hey, Virgos. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmeen. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Well, hello, Virgos. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys had a good weekend. <laughs> oh, here's the sun card. Hey, okay. So, you know, usually it talks about celebration, birthdays. Uh, particularly for those who just had their birthday. Eh, okay. <laughs> anyway, so um, here are the signs. So things are are looking up. I see that you guys are going to be feeling better. This is also like a healing energy. Um, this is meditation. This is getting your body right. This is focusing on your health, that type of stuff. That's what I'm saying. Okay, Virgos, it's starting off even good. Ooh, at the bottom of the deck, lovers. So I, I see some type of connection here. That's going to bring a lot of happiness with this sun card. This could um, be a long term. We see that these people are tying the knot. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's see what we have. Oh, it's for you, Virgos. So far, so good. Virgo, Virgo. Okay. Oh, we have Hierophant. We have the Death card. A lot of change that you guys are going to be experiencing. A lot of change. At the bottom of the deck, I have the, the emperor. Ooh, I see a lot of commitment here. You know, someone could have been very stubborn or could be stubborn, maybe you, maybe you're resisting something. But I really do feel like there is gonna be a long-term committed relationship. It's just too many cards saying it. And we know that it's about time, Virgo, we know it, right? So a lot of change, transformation, like I said, even when it comes down to your physical appearance and your health, okay? This is you guys um, focusing on your health, mental health, physical health. I feel like here, somebody may want forgiveness here with the higher friend. This person is down on their knees. So someone that you know, this could be a family member, you know, maybe you guys got into some type of argument. You guys are not talking, but I do see change here. And then I I end up on at the bottom with the two of cups. I wasn't even looking. You guys are going to be in a blossoming relationship. Something that's meant to be. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going for Virgo. Virgo. That season came really quick, didn't it? <laughs> it's like it's over almost, right? Something is ending here. Or something has ended and it's caused a lot of pain. Here with the high priestess, silent treatment. This is being able to balance yourself. I feel like you guys have waited for a very long time for something. There is going to be a lot of change. There's a lot of endings. Um, that sun card talks about happiness, so um, we do know that good things are coming. But it's you know that that sun is needed because of the betrayal you've experienced, some endings you've experienced. Of all kinds, actually. Let's put this for Virgo. Yeah, someone wants to communicate with you here. Eight of Wands falling up on that higher fence. This is someone that you guys know from the past here. Six of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, new opportunity. I see soulmate energy in this reading. I see your finances are going to get better. A lot of you guys lost a job or something in the past here. This is talking about keeping the faith. Some of you guys are needing help in spiritual, mental. Some of you guys are really needing help, but things are going to get better. Ace of Pentacles, though, blossoming, abundance. But I, I do see another chance here with this Ace of Pentacles, especially with the Six of Cups. Some of you guys are watching your person be with someone else on social media, or maybe your person is watching you trying to see if you're with someone. But I really do see that your past is in your reading. There's going to be some type of change here. Yeah, look at this. Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. And Queen of Pentacles, so you guys are only folk. You guys are really focusing on yourself. You guys are focusing on your stability, Sandy. Very strong, very strong in your power with your money. Yeah, I love it. Someone is very hesitant, and it's been very slow. Someone has been wondering or wanting to talk to you, but they've been very hesitant about something. Like they're about to, you know, communicate. 
Um, but someone here with this Ten of Swords, someone is like sad over an ending or maybe someone is experiencing some type of ending. But then we have the King of Cups. So there is love here. There is, I mean, happiness all the way through um, in your reading, even though there has been some sadness and disappointment, there is going to be a lot of good things happening for you. Let's go ahead. Let's get the sun card for you, Virgo. Look at this. Happiness celebration, four of wands. Remember we kept on seeing the two of cups and the lovers with the commitment. We got the hierophant. Commitment is here. And it's just like the temperance is like, okay, I always say be, be patient. I think you guys have been patient. It's not that anymore. Keep your balance in your relationship. Don't overgive. Allow the person to give to you um, the same. I feel like this is more so balanced. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's get the Hierophant for a Virgo. You guys are getting somebody is having like a silent treatment in the house, especially if you guys are in a relationship and you are dealing with someone outside of your house and another relationship. I do feel that there is some mistress, Mr. Energy in this reading. Yeah, some there's a lot of lag here. Somebody is missing you, or you're missing someone. Somebody's still holding on to a connection or holding on to something here with the hangman. That's the reason why there is going to be movement with the Eight of Wands, some type of communication. Someone wants to make something right. Let's get the death card. Some of you guys are waiting for a phone call for a job or money of some sort. I see that. Look at this. Knight of Cups. So someone is definitely coming in. Someone from your past. This could also be a soulmate. Again, with the High Priestess. This could be also Pisces. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces. I see a lot of water here. And someone hasn't told you how they felt about you. Let me see what popped out. Yeah, Pisces. A lot is going to change after this Pisces new moon. Someone wants to see you. You guys have a lot of admirers. Hmm. Let's get the Ten of Swords. Again, we have the Death card. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio or Pisces or um, Cancer. A lot of water. So whoever this is, this ending has caused a lot of sadness within them. There is endings and you guys are moving forward with the two of wands. I do feel like someone is going to come back in. Someone is thinking about you. They could be at a distance here. Somebody is going through a transformation. Mm -hmm. Someone is changing here. Let's get the high priestess, a spiritual awakening. High priestess. Yeah, someone wants to make something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, you don't know what the future holds, but it's it's coming. But I, I do feel like some of you guys have been in a relationship with someone who was married. And it's time for you to get out of that with the Three of Pentacles. It's time for you to get your own love. Have your own love, your own life. A lot of you guys are doing this because there's a huge lack in your heart. And it's like you're fooling yourself. That, you know, part of that moon talks about illusions. Okay. Not not fooling yourself. Let's get the Eight of Wands. Crap. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Here with the Page of Swords, a lot of you guys are spying, but I do feel like, you know, you're going to be communicating. But here at the Five of Wands, there is someone else. You guys are trapped in a connection with someone else or you're in a relationship or they're in a relationship. I do see the past coming back in here. Yes, but it has to be right, you know. Um, the person has to be free so they can give you time and attention that you deserve and you need. Everyone deserves that, right? But uh, I see your past coming back in and I also see a soulmate too. Let's get the Six of Cups for Virgo. Look at this. 
Yeah, there's a lot of interference. Three of Cups. So your past person is going to come back in here, but they're still in some mess. There's other people still hanging around. And you guys are very vulnerable to this person. This person does have feelings, though. I see a lot of in denial on your end. You know, you're trying to get out of it, but I see in denial on their end. And I feel like they're going through a transformation or they will be. They have decisions to make. It looks like here you have a decision to make and you will be making a decision. Let's get these uh, King of Cups. Somebody has strong feelings for you. It looks like you guys are at a distance. Yeah, a lot of waiting. A lot of wear and tear. Justice here. I think this has been karmic. So a lot of things that have been happening, it looks like mm, this this could have been very karmic. And, you know, um, I do see them coming in. But yeah, this person, this person is going to change. This person was a player or is a player, but I see a lot of transformation with this person. I think you're soft. Look at this. This person is in love with you. And, you know, general, I don't do reversals, but I take it, right? With this Queen of Swords, you may have cut this person off. You may be very guarded, but this person is going to soften you up, is what I'm saying. Like this person is not going to wait any longer. I feel like they know what they want. They're, they want to get out of this depression. They may need to get out of a committed relationship to be with you. They're not happy. Um... You know, they may sneak to be with you, but I see a lot of new love here. There's a burden with you and this person. Um, and it's just time for you guys to just break through. It's time for there to be some type of releasing of some sort, whether it's on your end or their end. Yeah, something needs to be released. There needs to be breakthroughs happening in this connection because it's very strong emotion. Uh, but you're going to get what you want. But right now, it looks like there is going to be some issues coming up with someone from your past. And spirit is like, stay grounded, stay stable. Okay, don't falter. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and make sure things are right and just for you. Let's get some Oracle cards for Virgo. 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 You know, I already I always have to get a little extra for some Virgos. They don't they're not gonna like me, but <laughs> at the bottom of the deck I have it's best I maintain a distance because you and I I'll continue to watch you from a distance. And I really do feel like someone really is watching you from a distance. You kind of saw that here. This person has very strong emotion, very strong feelings. They're just not opening up to you right now. Um, here I, I have, and this could be you guys too. It says, I'm not going to give you the impression that I like to like you too much. This person is hell bent in love with you and they're trying to pretend like they're not. <laughs> it says, I want to get to know you before better before I make the final decision. So I really do feel like someone has a decision to make. We talked about that earlier. Maybe they're trying, you need to make a decision. They need to make a decision. You know, like I said before, somebody has someone in this reading. Here it says, I need closure from you. We need some sort of conclusion. Please accept my invitation. So I feel like both of you guys are feeling this type of pool. Maybe there was some type of disconnect in this connection. Um, someone needs closure. I feel like someone has love, but they need to know what it's about. It could be you that needs closure. It could be a person that needs closure. Here it says, finally, the perfect time to come together. Our love will prove to be worth the wait. I really do feel like you guys are going to have that perfect love um we saw the lovers we saw the two of cups we see the six of cups we see the four of wands this is soulmate energy all the way but someone has to realize something there's a transformation going on with someone in this connection but eventually it is going to come it's going to uh all smooth out last card here i have i'm willing to start a fight just to have a chance to talk to you just say something to me Ooh we somebody got it bad Somebody has it bad here, really. Like they don't even care if you're going to argue with them. They just want to talk to you. This is probably something that you guys may go through or you have already gone through. But, you know, someone is a lot of guarded energy. There's a lot of love here. But there is a tug of war is what I'm saying. 
So Virgo, I will have a part two for you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Please like and, and subscribe. Please hit that notification bell and I will see you guys back here a little bit later. Bye guys.